Hi, my name is Lori Taylor. Let me give you a history of Hints Road. Until 1998, it was just two lanes of traffic, 98% residential between Wolf Road and Rand Road. In 1990, a shopping center, Brook Run, was opened. It's a convenience store with liquor sales, hair salons, dry cleaners, and a restaurant. Until 2014, when Butera slash Garden Fresh closed down, Wheeling was also another shopping center two blocks away. Just recently, everything, the restaurants, the bar, the dry cleaner, got demolished. Hints Road has never had much luck with retail gas station establishments. Most gas stations that resided on Hints have died on Hints. The corner of 83 and Hints had three gas stations at one time. One is now a Mexican restaurant, one is a body shop, and the other is a closed family video. Why get gas here in Cook County when they can just go a little further north into Lake where it's less costly? By the way, taxes are going up today in Cook County. Now, Wheeling is trying once again, this time, having a gas and wash truck stop built on the corner of Old Buffalo Grove Road in Hints. This is the only gas, gas and wash truck stop in all of Illinois with all four sides surrounding the residents. That's your first agenda. Over 170 residents, including apartments, homes, condos, and townhomes, are immediately surrounding this proposed establishment. If and when gas and wash fails, Wheeling will have a much bigger mess to clean up the next time. Every time this location is mentioned to anybody, even outside of the area, you get the same response. This is a residential area. The location has too many people. A petition was started and over 1,600 signatures have been gathered. The village of Arlington Heights has even submitted a letter to Wheeling entitled, Comments on Gas and Wash in Wheeling at Hins Road and Old Buffalo Grove Road, a preliminary PUD submittal. Concerns about the impact on Wheeling's adjacent neighbors. Noise from the car wash can easily exceed 80 decibels, and they're supporting documentation on that. The impact on the area's streets and lighting affecting Arlington Heights and Wheeling residents. The health risk assessments. The Illinois EPA actually has a risk assessment survey. Has Wheeling or Ar Gas and Wash completed it? Gas and Wash is, again, surrounded residents on all four sides, just like Sturgenics did in Willowbrook. A $345 million settlement for one lawsuit was then there. This Gas and Wash project affects Wheeling and Arlington Heights together. Cancer knows no boundaries. Hinsdale Car Wash has a special use permit. It's very dense and congested, which dictated the special use. Gas and wash has the same issues. Car was pulling out and hit a 14 year old and died. As part of the settlement, the village has to pull the special use permit. Did you know that FHA and HUD both do not warrant insurance for any properties within 300 feet of a gas station? And that's an appraisal ha appraiser has to fill in that form and also FHA insurance. Gas and wash is nothing, nothing like the previous gas station. That one had two pumps. This one has at least 16, of which two of them are diesel. So the question lies with Wheeling now. Do they want to approve something that has some longevity? Or do they want to have something more costly for them in the end? Thank you.